Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the technical trader at the techtrader.com. It is Tuesday, July the 11th. These are the charts of the day. Well, I'm going to look at some longs and shorts, but today was a kind of a funky day and very volatile. A lot of our stocks did well, particularly some biotechs, although the LABU was up, wasn't up big. There's still a lot of choppiness and mixed picture in that group. Semiconductors were much stronger. Financials were weaker. But looking at ARNA, that was a spectacular day today. Up 761, that's 41.4% on a whopping 15 million. Never traded that in its history, going way back. You can see how it was a significant breakaway and move with a huge gap. Now, it is resistance up in that zone, right up here about the 28 level, hit 27.86. Not only is this a larger de declining tops line, going way back to 2012, five years, but you can see lateral price resistance up closer to 30, 33 range. So <clears throat> I'm thinking there may be some possible follow through that gets it up in that zone. But for now, keep close tabs on this one. Do not let it get below today's low, which was 25. Under 25, it may pull back to more towards the 22, 3 range. But keep an eye on this one. There's a 4.34 days to cover. I'm sure some of them covered today. BGNE was another. We've been watching this for a week after it gapped. Uh, it's run from 60 to 76 in the last four sessions. Another nice run up today of a 304, about four and a quarter percent. Volume was decent. Look, as a stock with momentum, you want to see the lows hold. Today's low is 70. Said 40 would be a potential support level. I would stop under 70. It could, it could see a pullback to 66 or less. If it extends, well, this is new all time high territory. And so, and any extension here could lead to higher levels towards 80, 85, maybe even a takeover. There's a, still, or according to this, 17.8 days to cover. Uh, I'm sure some of them have covered in the last week, but there may be additional squeeze coming. CCXI, another biotech with a pop out of a wedge today. You can see the one, two, three, four, and fifth wave potentially underway. Let's say that the actual channel angle could look like this, and it could lead to resistance up around 11, which would be my next target, followed by 13, 14. 27.36 days to cover. Let's look at a long term chart. You can see the resistance in this zone that was taken out this week. This is a big, significant move. And my next target comes in about 11. So that's what I'll be targeting going forward with 27 days to cover. This could, this could get really interesting. Strong momentum right now. Yet another CPRX broke out wedge, and now it's been running steadily. Here's a little wedge, a little flag, and another wedge. Today it broke out of that wedge with another 27 cents or almost 10% pop on two and three quarter million. Vine was the second heaviest we've had in several months. I think we could see 350 on an intermediate to longer term basis. You can see that the five and three quarter range back up here from the 2015 highs may be in play at some point. And there's probably some resistance around four and a half as well. So it's three and a half, four and a half of my targets going forward. 3.3 days to cover on that. FOLD, one of our swing trades did phenomenal today. My targets at I think 12 and 13 or 11 and 13 were both hit today. Next target's 15. This breakaway gap out of this entire base could be a sign that it's going even higher. Um, my next target's 15, as I said. And then I'm looking at something potentially way up here at 18. This one has 12.76 days to cover. Oil stock Halxion with a sale of some assets for a billion four and shoring up their cash position had an explosive 28 million run of 51%. Huge move. And it got right up to major declining top line of the last year and a half and stalled. Uh, but it closed near it. And if it gaps up tomorrow, your targets are 750 and 88 and a quarter going forward. Could be very interesting. Let's watch this one closely. And today's lowest key support, just under 590. KRO, well, we gave you a swing on it yesterday. It, it ran up and then today it extended. It got up to 2064, closed 2047 up 88 cents or 4.5%. Volume was a solid million one. That's the biggest volume since early May when it popped here. So I'm looking for an extension. I believe this can get to 23, 24, four days to cover. Good old MyTech, one of our old favorites from years ago. Look at this pop. This is a breakout to a six year high, nominally. The high here was 949, today's high 975, closing at 975. And what I like about that is that when you get a wedge and it breaks out, and then pops and falls through resistance and close at the high for the day going away, a real good sign it's going higher. Now looking at the overall structure, 13, 13 and a half is my next target. Stay tuned. This could be interesting. Nectar um, popped out of its wedge, it appears today. 
Uh, volume picked up to a million and a half. Watch for a move, if possible, through 2150, 55. And then your target's 25 and 27 and a half. 7.9 days to cover on that. And by the way, my tech has 4.15 days to cover. NVCR popped again. This is a swing trade of ours from uh, the 1011 zone back in April, and it's reached uh, 2085 for nearly about a double. And yet, my target says that I think 24 and 28, 29 may be doable. 10.6 days to cover. Short term, it might be at the top of the channel. It could pull back like it did in there and consolidate, but I think it goes higher. 10.6 days to cover, as I said. Sangamo, another swing, but may have broken out of this two week flag. It popped 6.32%, 55 cents on one and a quarter million. And if it extends, watch for a move through 965 to get up to about 10 and a quarter and then 11 and a half three quarters. 7.11 days to cover. Well, SIEN I've been following for a long time. I really liked it when it broke out of its inverse head and shoulders and ran up. You may recall we had a swing on it. It went nowhere for a year and a half. Big base. It broke out today with energy and nearly a million shares. It put a swing on it early on today. It extended, got up to 1084, close 1069, up 119 to 12.5% on almost a million, as I said. There's 10 days to cover. I'm planning on this getting up towards 14 over the next few weeks. Square broke out of its three or four week flag and popped for $1.50 or six and a quarter percent on 17.6 million. That's huge for that stock. I'm looking for a move to 27.8 on this turn. Urendi, one of our old favorites, popped out of a base pattern, jumping 250 or 9.5% over a million traded. I think it has a shot at getting up to 31 in this run. That's the last of the longs. Let's look at a few shorts just to give you an idea of how some of them are acting. AutoZone extension to the downside, another nine. Um, let me correct these charts. Hang on a sec. So you see clearly. There you go. So you can see that AZO rolled over right near my target around the 495 five range. So at this point, having dropped from 800 and change down to under 500 uh, with multiple waves down, I think it's close to being a low in this area. But what you got to consider is a longer term chart, and you can see why the support here. If it doesn't hold, we're looking at 460. Hang on to your seatbelts on this one. Could get interesting. Central Garden and Pet. I almost put out a swing short on this today. I just like the, the trend break, the bear flag. I moved down to support. Bounced a little bit today. Got off 30.60. If it gets under 30, uh, 30 and a half range, it could roll over and get into at least mid-20s and maybe low-20s. Glaucos. The rising flag broke. The head and shoulder top pulled back neckline test and rollover from the, the declining top line should lead or could lead to a test of first 36 and then 33 or less. MYR group, that's MYRG, smashed in May. Took a month to reco recover from a little bit of a bear wedge, and today it may have fallen through that. Watch for this one to test 28 and 23.4. Simon Property Group, the uh, retail, the real estate retail stock or, real, or the retail real estate stocks. Look, this has been in a downtrend, say it was up 230. It's gotten all the way down to 150, bounced, and now it's coming down again. I can see this hitting near 130.35 on my next target. Verative, well, it may have broken today. Not quite yet, but if we do get a move below, say, 41.90, I would look for a test of 40, 35, and even as low as 29.30. If you extend this here, you'll see what it leads to. And lastly is um, Wave Life Sciences which I showed you up in here on that bear flag after it broke the channel. Came down, bounced to resistance, came down, f flagged, larger coil, and today it cracked 5.4%. Um, Thinly traded, but it looks like this one may be headed towards 12, 12 and a half. That's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good evening.